Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with the Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 31st, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to a long-awaited Daily Do, having a look at a space weather, world weather, and as well, earthquakes. Having a look at the last 48 hours on our sun, we do have two Earth-facing sunspots, one that was pretty active, releasing an M-class solar flare, as well, minor B-class, C-class flares, and a small CME to talk about. Looking at 48 hours incoming, two pretty active sunspot regions cresting right now, getting ready for a north-facing position. And as well, we are reporting a backside CME the last 48 hours. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing, Nothing major to report there. No space weather events thwarted our way. We are expecting the solar flare. As it was an Earth-directed M-class solar flare. And as well, going to be keeping an eye on these three very active sunspot regions on our sun. Quick look at the multi spectrum here. All the space weather events the last 48 hours brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory and daily events. Look at 171 angstroms here. There is a coronal hole developing along the, the equator of our sun, getting into an Earth facing position now. Having a look at the M class solar flare from Lasco 2. Popping out on the 30th, 29th into the 30th. And then we've seen some pretty active plasma ripping away from our sun since. And you always know when it's an Earth-facing direction, when you see all of the action around the disk, all around it, that means it's on our way, on its way to us. Looking at ISWA Space Prediction Spirals, showing the small CME on the backside of the sun, Solar X-ray flux is in C-class range. Two C-class flares ringing out today. Looking at the NOAA space prediction spiral, showing that large M-class solar flare. And it will be arriving February 1st into February 2nd. Expect heightened solar wind speed and as well an uptake in seismicity. going into Groundhog Day with a space weather event. Let's hope it doesn't last forever. Looking at our real-time solar wind, as we are sitting at about 485 kilometers per second, highest reading today, 518, and it's been a steady for the past 24, 48 hours, right around there. Schumann resonance, a power of Seven for today, January 31st, 2022. Having a quick look at the graph. And that is a healthy resonance. Quality of seven and a power of seven. Let's have a look at earthquakes around the globe here for the past 24 hours. And this is Walton 3D an app that everybody can get, you can see for yourself, or you can tune in every day to Daily Do. Having a look here across the United States, largest reported today, a 4.5 in Medford, Oklahoma, as well just recently the 3.2 there in Utah, and they are reporting that as a quarry blast. That's a pretty large quarry blast. Two, uh, 3.0 there, largest along the West Coast, Look, overlooking Hawaii, Pahala, Hawaii with a 4.0, largest through the region. I already showed you the active lava lake earlier with the volcano report. Seismicity continues through Alaska. Overlooking Japan, minor earthquake today to report. The 4.4, Yokohama, Japan, 103 kilometer depth. That 4.3 was from yesterday. Overlooking Indonesia, 
Kapung, Indonesia, 4.9, and that's just north, or sorry, just south of that newly awakened volcano. As well, the largest reported earthquake today, a 5.9 Kermadec Islands region, and those earthquakes are continuing through the Kermadecs right now. Come on and join the live stream at any time. Check up on our planet. Say hi. Overlooking the Indian plate, Kolu, Pakistan with a 4.1 and three earthquakes here. The Owen Fracture Zone just off the coast of the Arabian plate into the African plate. 4.7 there reported in Turkey. Looking through the Caribbean here. 3.9, the largest through the region. Virgin Islands over to Dominican. As well, a 4.5 here. Honduras, that was yesterday. 4.5, East Pacific Rise, that was yesterday as well. South America, 4.2, 122 kilometer depth. And as well, a 4.5 there. Calama, Chile. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes across the planet. A quick glance at the last seven days. Now let's get to weather here as we do have quite a system heading into Ontario and as well the East Coast again starting Wednesday night. We could see at least 30 centimeters of snow through Ontario and looking at heavier amounts south of the border as well coastal regions. And that's from a very large low pressure, an Alberta Clipper heading eastward and then up into the Hudson Bay. Having a look here at snowfall totals for the next 10 days. As you can see, this long line of moisture, the convergence line from the low pressure system north of us, 35 centimeters in some areas, another 20 centimeters for the east coast and northward towards Newfoundland. Could see two feet of snow in parts of Iowa. Overlooking the west, higher amounts around 200 centimeters up in Alaska. And then look at all the snow falling across the Pacific. Open water, snow is falling, and a lot of it. Very large low pressure systems across the planet right now, still building. Having a quick look around the world, snowfall totals. Very notable, the totals up in parts of northern Europe, Norway, 150 centimeters to fall over the next 10 days. Some very strong cold systems heading towards you in the long range for Europe. Having a look here at the last four days, satellite imagery across the east coast of the United States, as you can see, Completely covered in snow now, pretty much from Cincinnati, Carolinas moving northward. Let's have a look, quick look at the two-day forecast brought to you by Media Earth and as well daily events worldwide. For some reason, they are discontinuing this app. So this is what we've got. Two days forecast. We're going to have to add it with Windy. Looking here, we do have that Alberta Clipper moving north over Superior Tuesday into Wednesday. And then a low coming out of Alabama this week, long line of moisture stretching from the Gulf of Mexico up into Quebec, overlooking the West Coast, cold temperatures moving back in for Alberta and BC, and dry, very dry. Most of the systems are heading towards Alaska, overlooking the Atlantic Ocean, low pressure center here. Still winding around and has been for the past five days. 
strong high pressure ridge off the coast of Spain, fueling up some pretty warm temperatures still, but that's all going to change here once these systems get through east of the United Kingdom. Heavy snowfall for parts of Qatar and Kuwait. Strong high pressure ridge across Russia, dry, very dry. You're going to have an interesting wildfire season there in Russia. Overlooking Southeast Asia, you do have a low pressure center moving through Nepal Valley this week and is going to come out of China right during the Beijing Olympics. You could see a couple feet of snow in the long range forecast. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean, very large systems developing. And look at the size of this thing, guys. Wow. It's no wonder they don't want us to know the five-day forecast anymore. I don't know. Could be wrong. But anyways, let's carry on here through Indonesia. Daily evaporation rains heavy towards Indonesia. Overlooking Australia. Still have that dominant low-pressure system trapped over the continent and as well another one just south over Tasmania possible tropical system developing over Vanuatu in the long range keeping an eye on that overlooking Hawaii no major weather systems heading your way so dry through the week and then overlooking South America same thing South America low pressure Center is locked over the province, or sorry, over the country right now. The continent, you know what I meant. <laughs> Overlooking Africa, the rains continue from Tropical Storm Anna, as that is another trapped low on the continent. And then we have Tropical Cyclone Batserai. This is the forecast for the next 48 hours as it grazes Port Louis. And then is so Mauritius, and then it's going to be heading into Reunion. Having a look at windy forecast here. You can see it heading just north of Port Louis and St. Denis. Mauritius and Reunion Islands. And then heading towards the Madagascar coast. And look at that. Straight across Madagascar. Strong cyclone Batsirai. Making landfall, Madagascar, and racing straight across. So it should be an interesting week ahead for parts of Madagascar and as well the small islands off of the coast. Going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern. Pointing out the major systems spinning around our planet right now. Much love to everybody. And I thank you all for tuning in today. Prayers for humanity. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Much love, everybody. Bye-bye now. Please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.